In this video we're installing a Delco Remy starter motor on an old 3406C engine. This is the old starter motor. It was cranking the engine over really slowly for a while and then eventually it gave up and wouldn't crank the engine at all. It's a non-genuine cat part and a genuine cat starter motor was $3,000 roughly so we decided to go with the cheaper option which was a Delco Remy 39MT. The Delco Remy starter motor was $450 and is 1.3 kilowatts more powerful than the genuine cat starter motor and it's really noticeable when you start it up as you'll see later in the video. The starter motor is configured a little different to the conventional style so we'll have a look at where our wires go. That's our signal wire terminal for the magnetic switch. This is the battery positive terminal. This is the battery negative terminal. This is over crank protection. You don't need to hook this up for the starter motor to work, it's just an option. That's the frame and field terminal. 11 tooth pinion on the starter motor and it doesn't have a nose cone like conventional styles do. So this is back to the old starter motor that was hooked up. We've got our, this is our negative battery terminal. This is our positive battery terminal. You can see we've got a few things hooked up there. This is our signal wire, the white one. So that will go on top of our magnetic switch. Once we disconnect all our cables, the three bolts can come off. They're a 12.58 size head. Clean up where the starter motor bolts onto the flywheel housing because we're going to put a gasket there and this is a wet compartment. The starter motors are pretty heavy and you can only really get one person in there so I like to use a guide stud. This is just a 5.8 bolt with the head cut off and I'll just put in the top there that way I can sit my gasket on the stud and then bring my starter motor in and it'll, it'll all line up and then I can get my first bolt in and the second bolt and then take the stud out. It works really well. I've sat my starter motor in there you can see it just hangs off the stud and this allows you to get your bolts ready and then put them in one by one talk the bolts up to 215 newton meters each so now we can start putting our cables back on on the back of the starter motor this is the earth side as you can see we've got a few little wires to put on before the main battery cable goes on there's no real difference between the conventional style and the Delco Remy style other than they've taken the magnetic switch and put it outside the starter motor. I think that's a good idea because a lot of the times that switch can play up and to fix your starter motor all you need is a new switch. Uh, these switches are I think about 200 amps. Uh, that's what they're rated for so you can't just put any type of relay on there you need a heavy duty relay if you want to replace them this is the positive side now so this is the charging this is from the alternator so this is charging and then uh, this is a little accessory that's been put on there I've forgotten to put the actual main battery power cable on which I will do in a second and this white cable here is signal to start the starter motor. Just to touch on the over crank protection that we were talking about before, like I said, you don't need to hook it up for the starter motor to work. It's just an option there in case you uh, have that system on there. This is this machine was built in 1984, so it definitely didn't have it back then. The idea is to protect it from misuse. If the starter motor gets too hot, you won't be able to start till it cools down. Um, and this is pretty much it. We're wired up and ready to go now. So we can have a go at cranking it over and see if it's any better. Starting. And that's 100% better than it was. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see me do a video on something particular, leave it in the comment section below.